welcome to another trip report. This time from Trier on an all station service to Luxembourg. It's not a very special train and I already feed at this train. You also find these trains for example on the Regional Express. So this is a higher ranked train, semi long distance train that run between uh, Luxembourg and um, uh, Koblenz. I already made a video about that actually from Koblenz to here. Anyway, what I do in this video, I show you the railway station of Trier, show you the trains and some views from the train. I hope you like this video. If you do so, give me a thumbs up. If it's helpful for you, also give me a thumbs up. And if you like to see more train related videos, subscribe to my channel. For now, let's roll the intro. Trier Hauptbahnhof is the principal railway station in the German city of Trier. At the front of the railway station there's a relatively big bus stop and close to this bus stop there are some shops as well. It's possible to access the railway station via a gate that's located right next to the bus stop. If you do this you get out at track number 10 and 11. Just make sure because track number 10 is on both sides of terminal track that you go to the right part if your train is departing from track number 10 so mind the north and south at the front of the railway station building there's a departure screen for buses and well i think it's also time to go into the railway station building the main hall is not that big there are some information points and a little bit more at the side you find an official booking hall and there are some vending machines. I really like the murals over here by the way. They do indicate the routes of the trains. And within the station hall there are some shops where you can buy some food. A departure screen will host information about departing trains from here. If you move towards the platforms from the main railway station building, you get out at the same platform as what I showed you earlier. There are some more vending machines over here and if you want to use the lockers, you can also find the lockers at this platform. A tunnel will link this platform to the other platforms where you obviously find the other tracks. There are stairs and elevators that all link the tunnel with the platforms. And this is the train type that I'll be featuring in this video. But before I will show you the train I had on this route, I want to tell you a little bit more about this specific route. The route that I'll be taking today is from Trier to Luxembourg and this is on an all station service. Along this route there are also Regional Express trains and these trains don't go everywhere. The Regional Express trains will continue their way to Koblenz. In terms of train types, both in Luxembourg and in Germany, you find RB, what stands for Regionalbahn, and RE, what stands for Regional Express trains. Regional Express trains don't go everywhere, and Regional Bahn trains are all station services. Sometimes the differences between Regional Express trains and intercities are not even that big in terms of travel time and distances. Back to the Luxembourg railway system map again. As you can see, Trier is also listed on this map. Obviously, it's not in Luxembourg, but in Germany. But for regional transportation, it's quite an important junction. Even though, as you can see on this railway map, there are not a whole lot of lines and the trains that do come here are all local trains. However, there's one train per day that runs as a regional express train between Luxembourg and Koblenz and then continue its way to Dusseldorf as an intercity train and this train also does the same thing in the opposite direction. But because intercities and local trains do have different fare systems, this is at the section Koblenz Luxembourg a local train. Back to our all station service today that I will take from Trier to Luxembourg. That train actually started at Wittlich Hauptbahnhof. That's not on this map, but it's on the line Koblenz Trier Luxembourg. However, because Trier plays a more important junction role and also because of time, I decided to show you Trier Hauptbahnhof, so Trier Central Station or Main Railway Station in this video. It's time to show you the trains you can find on this route. On this route you will find the KISS trains made by Stadler. 
This are electrical multiple units, also called EMUs. And in this version, they do consist of three carriages. The combination of KISS trains made by Stadler can be very different. I also saw them made up of seven carriages. At the side, it has been very clearly marked where you find the first and the second class, and an extra yellow line does indicate exactly where you find the first class. Icons at the side of the train do also indicate what facilities can be found where, and especially the bike compartments have been marked very clear. You can just take your bike on this train. You don't need to make a reservation, and making reservations in general, it's not possible anyway. For now, let's take a closer look at the interior of these trains. I already featured these trains on the route RE11 and I would just use some of that footage I shot for that video. The first and the last car are exactly the same and at the lower deck, right near the entrance door at the total front and the back of the train, there's some space for bikes. This is how the lower deck looks like and at the upper deck, well it's basically the same but because it's curved, you just have slightly less space. These trains are perfect for commuter trains, for longer distances I don't know. Most seats do come in an airline style or a long distance bus composition, there's a small table in the seat in front of you, and at the upper deck there are also sunscreens available. There are some coat hangers integrated within these seats, and that's basically it. The overhead luggage racks, well they are there, but because this is a double deck train, they're not that big. They're the biggest at the section where this part is no double deck train. The middle carriage does host quite a lot of space for bikes. Over here there are two toilets and here on the left it's a special space for the conductor. Well let's have a look in the bigger toilet within these trains. I didn't film the regular toilet, but this toilet can also be turned into a nursery space for babies and is wheelchair accessible. Most important, everything worked and it was clean. And believe me, I test everything out. This is the, well, how you can turn it into a nursery space for babies. At the upper deck of the middle car, so the car where you find a lot of space for bikes and where you find the toilets, there is the first class. At first, the first class doesn't look that much different as the second class, but I really like these big tables. Apart from that, you have way more leg room and below the seats, you will find power plugs. As you can see, the legroom is much more than in the second class, even though in the second class it's also fine, and I'm quite a tall guy, I'm 1 meter 90. At the spot where you find the solo seats in second class, are the only spots where I noticed power plugs in second class, at the other spots I didn't saw them. Screens at the most ends of the compartments, both, well, modern screens and also LED screens, will host route information, and well, that's basically it. Even though Luxembourg is offering free public transport, for this train you need to pay for the German section. From the first railway station in Luxembourg you can travel for free. I traveled on this train for a longer distance, so I had a long distance ticket where this section for the train was also included. In the video where I will show you the route, the trains and some views from the train from Koblenz via Trier to Luxembourg, so, on the faster express train, I will tell you a little bit more about fares for these routes. At the moment of recording, what is January 2022, the ticket price from Trier to any given station in Luxembourg is 5 euro per single ride for one adult. This doesn't include any discounts. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I like to book my ticket as deep into Luxembourg as possible. So I book my ticket to Traverse, what is the most far away station possible. I mean, public transport within the country of Luxembourg is for free anyway, except for the TZVs, but you can't take those trains on the domestic route. For the last section of the video, I'll show you some views from the train between Trier and Luxembourg.
before I end this video. If you're interested in other trip reports, of course you can find these videos on my channel. But below in the description of this video on YouTube, you also find a link to a map and on this map you will find all trip reports I did. Of course there will be more lines added to this. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, just subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification if I'm uploading a new video. This channel is focusing mainly on international and long distance train and ferry traveling. Mainly to show you what it's like to travel on a more sustainable way of transportation. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you do so, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. If you'd like to see more train related videos, subscribe to my channel. And that's it for now. See you on my next video.